by using everyday objects like biros, nails and bits of old silver foil, I managed to create something like this, which is a really simple way to demonstrate electric fields at home. Who would have thought that a physics practical would work first time and clearly demonstrate the effects I'm after? Here's how I made my simple electric field valve demonstration device. <laughs> It was easy to generate a source of static electricity, as you can see. I stuck my device to the table and brought my charge balloon close. As you can see, not a lot happened the first couple of times. Well, that's physics, I guess. On this next attempt, though, I noticed that the little piece of foil flips backwards and forwards. This became eminently repeatable and raises all sorts of questions. Interestingly, I noticed that if you touch the balloon onto the nail, then absolutely nothing happens. Well, this is clearly working really well. Rather than spend a couple of minutes explaining how this all works, I thought I'd start you off with a few key ideas, which would enable you hopefully to finish up if you're interested. So the balloon, obviously non-conductor, therefore when I rub it on my hair, it has the potential to become either positive or negative. Now we don't know which it's going to be, so I'm just going to assume that the balloon charges up positive. That means that basically electrons are pulled off the surface of the balloon onto my head. When we bring the balloon near to the nail, the delocalized electrons in the nail experience an attractive force towards the positive charge of the balloon and therefore collect down this end. Since we now have a surplus of electrons at the left hand side, that means the right hand side has become positive as it's lost electrons to the left hand side. It's not that positive charges move to the right, they don't, it's negative move to the left. Now this in turn means that the delocalized electrons in the foil now feel an attractive force again towards the positive end of the nail. So electrons will collect at this end or the left hand side, meaning that the right hand side becomes positive. We now have a situation where we have an attractive force between these two sides, the left right hand side of the nail, the left hand side of the foil. If that force is large enough, then the foil is physically pulled towards the nail. I'll leave you to think about what happens when it actually meets the nail and touches it. If you found that video interesting, try out this one. <laughs> 